This is the beauty of deterministic AI. So this, this graph here is like a, a good example is that here you can see at this sliver right here, 2023, 827, there are 44 issues that Mentor found. Now, when we take one step forward in time, now there are 28 issues. We have fixed 16 issues. And we know exactly which ones we fixed, and we know exactly which 28 issues remain. This is the beauty of deterministic AI. Deterministic AI systems, which can still learn, right? You still learn on a large corpora of data, but they can be used iteratively rather than uh, as one offs. Problem with Bugbot, as with all LM based systems foundationally, is due to that stochasticity, they will find things that are inconsistent. It's not reliable. So if you run Bugbot once on a commit, it may find something and say, oh, this is an issue. And then your friend, uh, Bob, uh, is going to help you. And you're like, yeah, just run Bugbot on the code. You'll see it. And then Bob runs Bugbot on the code. And he's like, uh, Frank, I don't see anything. Bugbot doesn't give me any issues. And then you guys look at your two screens and you see that they're, they're fundamentally different. This is one of the core challenges with using stochastic AIs for things that are uh, for things that have problems that are being viewed as deterministic problems. That's why I submitted the paper. So now when you start to use it as a tool that potentially is helping you or you believe it's helping you in a reliable way, it just doesn't give you reliable results.